Matter is historically defined as anything that has mass and occupies volume. It is the general term for the substance of which all physical objects are made. Mass commonly refers to the amount of matter in an object. It is the term for two properties of matter that are equal in value, inertial mass and gravitational mass. Inertial mass is the resistance of a body to acceleration when responding to a force. It is based on Sir Isaac Newton's formula F equals AM, where F equals force, A equals acceleration, and M equals the object's inertial mass. Gravitational mass is the property of an object that determines the strength of its gravitational field and its reaction to gravity. It is based on Sir Isaac Newton's formula for gravity, F equals G M1 M2 divided by R squared, where F equals force, G equals the gravitational constant, M1 equals the first mass, M2 equals the second mass, and R equals the distance between the centers of the two masses. The inertial and gravitational mass of an object have the same value. Thanks to general relativity, we now know that the reason for this equivalence is that inertial and gravitational mass are two aspects of the same thing. Furthermore, special relativity shows that an object's mass is equivalent to the amount of energy an object contains. It is based on Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, where E equals energy, m equals mass, and c equals the speed of light in a vacuum. The main SI unit of mass is the kilogram. It is a mass equal to the mass of the international prototype of the kilogram. The kilogram is based on the gram, which is equal to the mass of one cubic centimeter of water at zero degrees Celsius. This means that a kilogram equals the mass of 1,000 cubic centimeters of water at zero degrees Celsius. There are three main states of matter. Their distinctions are based on differences in bulk properties. They form a triad, with each able to change directly into the other two. Other forms are called states, but they are mainly variations of these three. These three main states of matter are solids that have a definite volume and definite shape, liquids that have a definite volume but no definite shape, and gas that has no definite volume and no definite shape. Plasma is an ionized gas where the electrons have been freed from their atoms, usually by heat. Plasma is usually called the fourth state of matter, but it is really an extreme form of gas. It has all of the defining characteristics of a gas. It has no definite volume, and it has no definite shape. Plasma is the most common form of matter in the universe. Normal matter is composed of atoms. Atoms are a nucleus with electrons around it. The nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. In common experience, matter makes up everything around us. Matter makes up everything we see. Matter makes up everything we touch. Matter even makes up our bodies. Matter is one of the three main parts of the universe. Space, time, and mass, represented here by matter. Relativity shows that they are interrelated. Space and time form a single entity called space-time. Mass warps space-time, forming gravity, and the motion of mass contracts both space and time. In common experience, matter is what makes up objects around us. But physics has shown it to be a lot more. It is a fundamental part of the universe.